Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911 back again, finally, with another statue unboxing video. It's been a while. Uh, just kind of been slowing down on buying some stuff, but when I saw this one, I had to have it. And uh, plus I had a $50 off coupon, so I had to use that too, right? So this is the Pure Arts, uh, located in Montreal, Canada. Terminator 2 T1000 Art Mask. This is the deluxe version that has the extra pointy finger. Had this on pre-order for a year and a half and it finally showed up at my door yesterday, so I couldn't wait to unbox it and show you guys. Um, this is the brown shipper box. Nothing really spectacular about it. It just says Terminator 2 T1000. One piece, uh, this is number 247 of a thousand. So they made a thousand of these. Let's open this thing up. This was definitely one of my most favorite movies growing up as a kid. Well, not even a kid. I think I was a teenager then, but um, this, this movie was amazing. I think I watched it a million times. Okay, so opening this thing up. Got some nice uh, corner protectors there. I like keeping these because when I ship out some stuff, when uh, I'm selling um, valuable things, it's good to put these in the corners just to protect. Put those over there. Of course, I have the Terminator 2 arcade going right now. All right, we'll put this on the floor. Oh, it is quite heavy. Let's say a good 25 pounds. Not bad for an art mask. Okay, so we got it out of the box. It was a very slow but steady process. And uh, we have the art box here. I haven't really even taken a look at it. And here we have it. I got the color version. Uh, it's not accurate to the movie because he was more all liquid metal when he got shot in the face, right? But it looked cool because, I don't know. I feel like for a statue, even though it's not movie accurate when it's all chrome, that's just a cop out. I, I want to see all the detail in the paint, the eyes and, and, and you know, their, their craft. The artist's craft, right? So here we go, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, one-to-one -one scale, Art Mask, T1000, Deluxe Edition, Studio Canal, Pure Arts. I have a side kind of view of him, you can kind of see the finger there. I'm not sure if the non-deluxe versions actually show that. Here we go, there's the finger, there's the shotgun blast through his face. And uh, yeah, all the different uh, stuff here. Collector item for ages 14 up. Yep, and here's another shot of him. And that's it, all right. So let's start opening this thing up. And as you guys know, I like to open these things up kind of uh, on camera for the first time. So it kind of documents any damages or anything that could happen during shipping. But this thing looks pretty solid. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think I should be too worried about anything. I haven't had really any breakage issues with statues, I don't think, in the past. <laughs> or at least those uh, traumatic uh, experiences have been wiped from my memory. So this is assembly instruction. So you can wall mount this or you can table mount it. I'm not sure what I want to do right now, but uh, I don't know, the, the, the wall mount kind of seems funny. You don't really get, but you'd probably have to install them pretty high to get all the detail on the body. So I think I'm gonna set them up like this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have finger up or finger to the side. <laughs> I was going to say maybe up would save more space, but it barely adds anything there. And this is how you can mount the heads differently. And what's on this side? Uh, what's included? You got screws, the wall mount here. I don't know what that's for, actually. I'm going to find out. It's the hand, how you mount it, that's the base, and the art mask. Oops, sorry, that wasn't even in camera. But really cool. I'm gonna put this off to the side here, and then I'm gonna lift the thing out. So this is gonna probably take a while too, because cardboard boxes, oh no, it's not that bad. Oh, I like that, they use straps. This is my first Pure Arts 
collectible statue. I am now looking for the T-800 art mask. I don't know if I want the battle damage or the clean one. Probably clean one preferred, but I want to look for a good deal at least, because then I'd have these two guys side by side, and I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, so not that big of a box. Looks pretty awesome. It's just an art mask, so it's not like a full front to back um, sculpt. So I guess it does save quite a bit of space. Really like these straps. Uh, Iron Zeus is now doing it. Uh, I guess everyone's kind of following. So it's kind of wet. Why is this thing wet? It's actually pretty damp here. I don't want to smell my hands because that's what's going on. Oh, there is some water damage inside here. Like, I don't know if the box was wet because the outside looks unscathed. But the inside of the box here, there's these really two wet marks there, which is really, really strange. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they opened it to do a quality control tech and somebody spilled their water bottle on it, but it is like really wet here. Hopefully everything's okay inside, but that that's really strange. I've never seen that before. Probably get a towel. And of course, I don't have any towels down here. Ah, it's okay. Should be fine. Um, what I did notice is they use some metal metal pieces here for the straps. That's that's pretty uh, serious. And what I'm also noticing is when we take off the straps, is they use plastic pieces here to protect the styrofoam from being crushed. And that is pretty fancy. Um, that is one step further than uh, most uh, manufacturers. So stepping it up, I mean, probably a little unnecessary. Could have maybe saved the collectors, the end users a couple of bucks by not having to do that. But you know what? It's here. I don't care. Um, I think it's great. All right, let's put these off to the side. This is gonna get added to my uh, collection of shipping protection. Okay, so we'll get rid of these straps. Put them in the box here. These are very long straps, by the way. Wow. Okay, and I think this is the top. Because it says Pure Arts on the top here. And we're going to slowly open this. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. So what we have here is some um, face mask protection. And that looks really good. Those eyes. Hey, I'm going to pull this thing out for you guys so you guys can take a look see. Actually kind of freaky. Wow, that looks really good. On pictures online, the likeness didn't look exact, but in person, this looks Really, really good. <laughs> and this is the back of it there. All liquid metal. It's very smooth, very shiny. A little bit dull on this spot here. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but everything else looks really, really, really good. Look at the eyes. Just the shine on those eyes. It looks... Oh, I just wonder if it's a glass eye. I don't know what they did, but it looks pretty sharp. It even has a little mole there, a little blemish beauty mark. Hair texture looks good. A little bit of chrome bleeding through there. I like it. Looks really good. Okay, where am I gonna set this aside to now? Um, oh, that's a separate piece for it. So I'll put that on the floor now. 
Well, I'll show you guys how they have it. So he just sits right on there. So I'll put him on the floor, all safe. And then we will, I don't know what this is. This is a, oh, this is special edition card here. I'll open up. It's kind of translucent. It's backwards, obviously. Number 247, T1000. That's being focused. Yeah, looks good. All right. Put that here with the instructions. Actually, I'll move these off to the side here. And then, let's see. We'll unbox. This is what it looks like in the box. Like so. We are going to take out the, oh man, that's, that, that has some weight to it. This is the exclusive hand. Is that life size? I guess that finger is actually, that thumb is bigger than my thumb. <laughs> but uh, the finish is quite good on this. Wow. That is the finger right there. What an iconic scene. That's the hand there, part liquid metal in the hand. You can see my hand there. It even has some like skin texture on this part of the chrome. And then it's pure, smooth, sharp pointiness. Wow. Looks good, even the fingernails. get this focused in here. There we go. Looks great. Okay, so put that back in the side here. And we'll pull out the base, which is the neck and the shoulders. Packed very, very nicely. Oh man. Wow. I don't know if that is life size. I mean, it's close. I guess his shoulders would come out here, but uh, I'm not sure. The face is definitely life size. But this is, this is the base here. Love the gunshots and the melting liquid metal there. Got his name tag, Austin. Got the police officer, Los Angeles Police. 572, badge number. That's the base there. And these are the mounting holes. I guess that metal plate mounts here to reinforce this. Does it? I'm not sure. But that doesn't seem super sturdy if I were to mount this on the wall, so. I would not trust this. I'm not sure if it's reinforced, but yeah, we'll figure it out. But it looks great. That's the back of it there. And yeah, let's uh, assemble this thing. I mean, there's not much to assemble. It's only kind of three pieces, but I'm excited all the same. And I like that it doesn't take up too much room. It's not a huge footprint. Let's see what else we have in this box first. Uh, oh, okay, so that wasn't a metal plate in the picture. It's actually just an, a template. See, in the picture, it looks like a metal plate, but it's just a screws landmark. Oh, I guess, well, screws template. So that's a template there. Hmm. Yeah, again, I, I'm i sure it is sturdy enough and they've tested it, but for me, just looking at it, I personally don't feel comfortable mounting it on the wall with it like that. It just seems thin and I'm not sure how reinforced it is with metal or whatever behind the polystone. And uh, just if it kind of cracks off and falls off the wall, I will be very 
very, very sad. So uh, I'm not going to risk that for sure. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount the head on there. And how to mount it is there is this metal peg here, and that looks like a very sturdy peg going in through here. So, hmm, I'll show you guys how you guys can mount it, actually, after showing you that peg. Now that I see it, you can either mount it here, which will be upright, or you can mount it here, uh, which will be kind of mounted on the wall like that, facing forward which I guess you still see quite a bit of detail either way, but yeah, that, that worries me. Just looking into it, I just see it's hollow and I just see polystone in there. I don't really see much uh, reinforcement. But I guess what we can do for the viewers is grab those screws Actually, I'm not even sure what this thing is. I thought this was screws, but it looks like a, a plastic block. Oh, this is for the card. Okay. Maybe it didn't come with mounting screws, did it? Let's check the instructions again. No, it doesn't look like it did. I thought that the screws were in this, but it's literally just a, a card holder like this, which is cool. Yeah, no screws in here, just like the silica gel packets. But yeah, here we go. Let's mount this on here. Pegs in very, very nicely. A little bit of play. Jeez, that looks really good. And then we're gonna put on the exclusive hand where you can mount it like this. Which is cool. Or you can mount it and you can see the hook here when they hook onto the car when he's chasing them. And I think the other way to mount it is... I don't know. How do you mount this the other way? Maybe up against here. Oh, there, that magnet grabbed it there. Doesn't seem, doesn't hold it that great. Well, I guess it does, but, but it's still very wobbly. You can see it moving like so. Whereas when you have it mounted this way, it cups in there. Uh, I guess there's some movement there too. So you just kind of got to let it sit there. Jeez, okay. Look at that, very rocky. <laughs> I'm not sure, there's no pegs or anything, so it just kind of just sits like that. But I'm not even sure if that should be the way that it does that, because I don't think it should do that. Try different angles, nope. Okay, so. <laughs> that actually felt more solid. Yeah, it can be mounted that way. But yeah, let's uh, get the camera up close and then we can do some close-ups of this thing. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, here we go. A uh, close-up video of the T1000 by Pure Arts. I just wanted to show you, this is kind of how the hand sits on there and it's, he's kind of loose. I'm not sure if he's, and just kind of, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like, I don't know, it can't be like this because it'd be almost touching his head. So it just kind of like wobbles like this. And that is a little concerning, especially if you're gonna wall mount it. Um, that probably won't be ideal. Maybe when you wall mount it, it's supposed to be on its side like this. Magnet is strong, but uh, there's also this movement here. 
yeah, so I'm not exactly sure. I think when you wall mount, you do like this. What do you guys think? Should I mount him with his hand this way or with his hand up this way? Oh, I'm at a loss, actually. I, I like both ways. <laughs> But yeah, I think the finish is done really, really well on this, especially the chrome. Uh, my most favorite part here is his eyes or his eye. It looks like a glass eye. It just looks so real. And I'm very, very impressed with it. You can see the cornea, the iris, the, I don't know, the, the pupil really well. Uh, they did under his eye really nicely. Um, even though the eyebrows are painted on, they look very, very realistic. Uh, the veins in the eyes. I love this part here. It's just so cool. That sold me when I first saw this online. And uh, on the liquid metal part here, you can kind of see an ear here, which is really, really cool. I didn't see that in the photos. But in the liquid metal, you just see kind of a shape of an ear. Well, it's clearly an ear. And I think that is pretty dope. All right, let's see. I think I found where it kind of seats better here. No, still got some movement, even though you got seated down there. But I guess to have the two different positions on the hand, um, that's the way they had to design this. There's no keys or anything. It just, it's just held on by pure magnets. Side there, hair, the hair sculpt is done really well. The paint on the skin is done extremely well too. I love how the ripples follow through his skin here from the shotgun blast to the face. I love these. They look, it just looks so good. I know they added this hook thing. I don't know if I'm a big, it, they could have done without it, but it's cool that they added it. Um, personally for me, I wouldn't care if it was there or not there. If there was maybe an exclusive piece where, you know, the piece where um, Eddie Furlong just throws it off the car, if they had a little broken piece to display in front of it, that would have been pretty cool. Or if this was removable and could be a display piece. Um, no real big issues except this really dull part up here. It's like kind of just the size of a quarter, maybe a little bigger. Uh, but I guess people won't really be viewing it from the back there. Um, just kind of have some uh, liquid runoff here. I don't know if because the box was wet or if that's just a blemish from, from manufacturing, doing the chrome. But uh, kudos to them. The chrome is done quite impeccably. Love the badge. The gold could have been more kind of like gold chrome instead of just this matte gold or satin gold. Um, especially when they're already doing chrome like that, that would have really, really popped. Chrome shoulder buttons are cool too. Jeez, I just, I'm, I'm really, really liking this. The more I look at it, it looks really good. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna be wall mounted. I am not gonna wall mount this. Basically, unpeg it from here. And then you peg it into there. Hmm. Now there we go. All right, that pegs in quite nicely. And now when I'm looking at a bird's eye view of this, it actually looks really good if it was on the wall. And with the smaller body on it, it kind of gives you that depth perception where his body's smaller and his head is much bigger. So I think mounting on the wall will give you better proportions. I don't know if I want to hold this up with this hand here. I am not going to do it. I'm just going to put that here because, again, it's pretty loose, even though the magnets are quite strong. If I had this mounted on the wall and a friend came over and just said, ooh, is that sharp? And like just kind of pushed it a little too hard. What if it fell and smashed on the ground? I, I can't even think about that. that. That would be absolutely horrible. Okay, so let's hold this guy up here. This is how he would look if he was wall mounted. And as you can see probably from the video, I hope he's in frame. Um, yeah, the depth of the body is smaller and it's, it seems like it'd be more proportional to, or like this is the way it was meant to be mounted. Whew, it's kind of heavy just holding it like that. Okay, 
Man, he looks really good. They could have probably, also if you walnut, they could have did some more detail inside the nose, maybe, I don't know, darken it a little bit, put some nose hairs or make it maybe a little bit deeper, because then at that point it looks quite fake. I mean, like less realistic, I suppose. Up there, up this guy back here. Yeah, maybe it will hold, but honestly, if somebody probably hits this hard enough, it's gonna fall off. Maybe you just have to put it really, really high up on a wall. But I got tall friends, so <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. This is the Pure Arts T1000 Terminator 2 Judgment Day Art Mask Deluxe. Um, little few things I would have improved on this, but uh, overall, I give this eight and a half, nine out of 10. He looks awesome. Now I gotta really look for a T-800 battle damage or non, or the original non-damaged uh, version to display beside this, because this is just so cool. Yeah, uh, that's it for now. Sorry guys if this video was a little, I don't know, all over the place. Um, I haven't done an unboxing video in a while. As you guys saw, I've been focusing on the Proton Pack over there. Been doing videos on that. Um, but yeah, uh, please like and subscribe, comment below, let me know what you guys think of this thing. Um, if you guys have it on order, if you guys have it, or from watching this video, you guys are gonna order one now. Uh, but yeah, he's a keeper. I'm really, really impressed. I just hope my daughter isn't too freaked out about it. But yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.